Hello, I'm Troy Parker, President of Innovative Labor and Cleaning, and this is another Mental Health Monday. We started the other day and we talked about our goals, first of all, our, our plate, our pie, and you know, creating the, the, the areas of our life, and then the goals. Now, everyone should have a goal for each section and everyone's pie might look different but really you only have to concentrate on your pie if you have you know four slices great if you had six great but you should have if you have four yes you should have four goals if you have six you should have six goals now take your goal your first goal pick whichever one you want if you want to take the time to give a number to each section of the pie as to you know which one is more important than the other say for instance you say okay my spiritual life is most important because if i get the spiritual part right then that's going to help me on the health part it's going to help me on the relationship part and it's going to help me with the career part you can do that pick a goal whichever goal you want to start with and we're going to write it out but we're going to write it all out as if it was already here in other words you already have it like you know how the bible says let the weak say i'm strong it doesn't say let the weak say uh i'm, I'm gonna be strong or you know next week i'll be strong or at the end of the year it says i am strong in other words it's in the present tense because you only live in the present tense. If you say, I'm going to be something, then your subconscious or whatever you want to call it, that God within you doesn't know. It's like, well, okay, he's going to be. So you'll just keep creating more. You're going to be, or I want. If you say that, you're just going to keep the feeling of want. So we want to write it out, one, in the present tense, and two, with a feeling of gratitude. So. If your goal is to have a million dollars in sales, you would write however you would say it. Now, I use the, I'm so happy and grateful, I now have a million dollars in sales. But also keep in mind, if a million dollars in sales gets you X amount of commission, really what you're after is that commission. So say on a million dollars, you make, I don't know, let's just say you make $250,000. Really what you want is the $250,000. And this is where people can get twisted up. They'll say, okay, they'll try to figure out in their mind how, okay, I'm gonna, I gotta do this and this and then I'll get this. If your job works in such a way that if you sell a million dollars, you get this percentage and that gets you 250. Then out at 250, you'll pay taxes and let's just say you get 200 and you figured now hopefully you've done the figuring on this and you know that's what you want is two hundred thousand dollars then i would just say i'm so happy and grateful now that i have two hundred thousand dollars in the bank and you don't have to even connect it to the job and here's why most people will say okay I want this and the only way I know to get it is A, I sell a million dollars worth of stuff, I get my percentage of 250 and then they take the taxes and I get to 200,000. But that's the only way you know of. The God inside of you or whatever you want to call it knows thousands of ways to bring you that money. So if it's money you want, then just simply say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have $200,000 in the bank and it's come the perfect way. Now, the reason you say the perfect way is you don't want to say, I'm so happy and grateful now I have $200,000 and that's it. Because now you've left it open. It can come anyway. You could be in an accident and then get an insurance settlement after you've been laid up for maybe you know six months uh, and the insurance company says, okay, tell you what, Mr. Jones, we'll settle with you for $200,000. And then you're gonna think, damn, I got the $200,000, but I didn't mean I want to break my, my hip and my leg. So I always make sure I say in a perfect way. Now, after you write your, your statement out, now these you're going to read every morning and every night before you go to bed. When you get up in the morning, you're gonna go through because it'll only be like five or six of them. I'm so happy and grateful now. I have $200,000 in the bank and it's come the perfect way. All right, and then you'll read that at night. Then next, in the morning, when you get up, you'll read it. Now what I do is I print them out, 
then I go to FedEx, then laminate them. And then I'll have a little laminated card sitting right there. And then each morning I just read it. But when I read it, I feel it. I feel like, okay, boom. You know, what is the feeling you're gonna have when you have $200,000 in the bank? Because there's some feeling that you know about because you're, you're gonna feel some way because it's your goal. Like my goal might be a different amount of money, but I know how I'd feel like, whoa, if I had that much, man, I'd be like, whoa, I wouldn't have to, I don't have to check my bank account here. I don't, I mean, I could just, oh yeah, you'll buy something like that. I, I don't have to ask the you know, price of it. But you're going to basically read it and feel the feeling that you would feel once you have it because you're saying it like a statement now after a few weeks you you should remember these because there's only four or five or maybe six of them so before you even get up out of the bed you don't even have to reach over and grab the little car you can say these with your eyes shut all right and just say i'm so happy and grateful now that i have two hundred thousand dollars in the bank now once you've done that you've got it written out now we're going to create a little movie for each now what would it look like if you had two hundred thousand dollars and what i mean by that is after you have the two hundred thousand dollars what is something after that that would automatically happen that you would know you have it like neville goddard calls this living in the end in other words in the end after you already have it what's something that happens when you have that kind of money in the bank, you get a bank statement. So your vision, after you say, I'm so happy and grateful now, or you can run it together. You can see this and then say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have $200,000 in the bank. And you see yourself sitting you know, at your computer and you, you'll see it as if you're looking out. You'd see the computer screen. If you got a favorite coffee cup, see that kind of over, over here in the corner, sitting on the table, a little steam coming out of it. Use all your sensory vividness. In other words, you smell what coffee, the coffee smells like. See the little steam coming up from it. See the computer screen. If the make of the computer there, if it's, you know, a Samsung, whatever, then you're on your bank account and you see, boom, bank account. Have your bank account statement look. When you check each morning, boom, $200,000. Now it's real quick. It's real quick, it's just a short little two seconds. And you just say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have $200,000 in the bank and you smell the coffee, see it, $200,000, boom. Then you go right to the next one. It might be, um, I wanna, you know, stay at my weight of 170 pounds. Um, you know, that might be the goal. Then you would just basically say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm healthy, fit, and I'm weighing 175 pounds. I always put healthy and fit because you don't want to be 175 pounds and you know, weak, sickly, and feeble, you know, and like, oh God, you know, so you want to be healthy, strong, and fit. Then you have a little movie you're gonna play for that. What does that look like? Okay, that might be, I'm so happy and grateful that I'm now healthy, strong, and fit and weighing 170 pounds. And then you see yourself in front of the mirror, you know, with the, putting that new suit on, you know, running your hand down your stomach, you know, feeling those abs. That might be it. That's, that's the quick scene. And then when you, so when you say that, each night and each morning, that's what you see. Now, it's going to take a little time to train your mind to do this. At first, you'll be like, well, gosh, that's a lot of work. But as I tell people all the time, you're already doing these little scripts and saying these little things. It's just for stuff you don't want. So right now you may be going to bed at night saying, oh God, I got to deal with that report tomorrow. And then in your mind, you're going to picture your, your boss coming in there. Hey, I need that report in the morning. So you're already playing these little movies. It's just for stuff you don't want. Take the time to write out your gratitude statement and it doesn't have to be, I'm so happy and grateful. You could say, thank God that I'm healthy and strong and I weigh 175 pounds and then I'm in great shape. It can be that short. Then you see the same picture, you, you know, stand in whatever your favorite colored suit is or outfit. I mean, if you're a polo guy, you see yourself with a polo, rubbing the abs. You know, if you're female, you might see yourself turning and looking, oh, oh gosh, I look great. I don't have the muffin top, or I do whatever it is you want to get rid of. Guys, you know, it might be like, hey, that beer belly's gone. I'm looking good. Whatever it is, read the statement and play the script at the same time before you go to bed and in the morning when you get up.
Now, play the script, and then you start to fall off to sleep. Pick one of the scripts. So let's just say it's the one you're sitting at the computer and you see the 250,000. Just fade off to sleep, and you'll just see the, the 200,000 on the computer screen, coffee steaming, and you just fall off to sleep. Say that in your mind, and just fall off to sleep. Because those four, five, six things that you just said, and then the one you go to sleep with, that's what your subconscious mind is gonna come up and pull out the file like, okay, what's he want? Okay, he wants $200,000. And then your little magical elves inside of you, that God within you, are gonna start working to build the events that are gonna get you to that. Then the next night, so Monday night, you might do your, your money one. You fall asleep with that last one. I mean, you'll read them all, then you fall asleep, pick one. Monday, you might do the, see the $200,000 in the bank. Then Tuesday, you might go to, and you fall asleep, you'll see the one where you're standing in the mirror. And then Wednesday, you'll take the little pictures of script that you play for the next goal. And then you just go through them, and if there's only four, go to four days and then start back at the top and just keep doing them. And then watch how things begin to manifest in your life. Now there's another part we're gonna talk about in the next video are action steps. Cause you can't, you know, you can't just, you know, visualize and think everything's gonna be all right. Next, you have to do the action steps. And now the key is how are you gonna know these action steps? We'll talk about that in our next video. I hope this helped. Please leave your comments and always remember it's up to you to make your life matter.